Hey everyone, have I ever told you about the time I was pickpocketed in Madrid? No? Watch on. Okay, this one takes place a long time ago, just after high school, I was traveling through Europe. And although this photo uh, was taken in Cologne or Köln, Germany, um, it's just a very similar setting to what it actually was like um, where this takes place in Madrid, Spain. So I had gone off to a market um, called El Rastro. And in that market, there, was, there were thousands of people all over the place, kind of like this. Um, lots of people around, even more people than you see in this photo. Um, but similar in that there were people everywhere. There were lots of stalls out and about and people selling things. And what I did is I decided to, you know, I was wandering through, I love markets like that. And I was prepared. I'd heard that there were some, it was a very um, prolific thief in the area. Um, she was very good at what she did. She stole a lot of things, especially from tourists. She targeted tourists. So I um, decided, okay, well, I'll keep all my valuable things like my passport and money and things like that in my zippered pocket. So I, I wasn't wearing these pants at the time, but they were similar. Um, they just had, had two sets, well, four pockets. There were pockets like these two at the hips that were open. And then I had a um, kind of flat pocket like this. Uh, on this side, and I had a zippered pocket on this side. So to me, I thought, hey, obviously the most secure pocket is going to be the zippered pocket, right? Who could possibly get into my zippered pocket without me knowing? So um, that's where I put my valuable things. So off I went, I was off at the market, I was looking through different things, all good. And then I got over into one area that was pretty, it was really crowded. There were people like bumper to bumper, shoulder to shoulder, all of, around each other. We're all looking in at this uh, one stall selling some things. And everything was fine. I was kind of looking in like this. And what set me off was, you know, I'm used to having people all around me like that when you travel, right? Do you find you get, often get really cramped in or if it's on a subway or somewhere else? where there's a lot of people, you just get all bumped up and that's fine. But this time I felt the slightest of tug right here, right on the pants right there. So I, and that was, nothing should be tugging down there, right? There shouldn't be any tugging going on down there. If you're bumping up top, that's fairly normal, right? If there's a lot of people around, but I felt the slightest tug in my pants. I looked down and I saw this woman had her hand completely into my pocket, my zippered pocket of all ones, the most secure pocket, right? And it had all my valuable things in it and her whole hand, I could only see her cuff and her wrist and then her whole hand was down into the pocket like that. I was shocked and I had prepared for this. I had looked at um, a phrase book for Spanish and I knew all the phrases of Ayurame, of well, let's see uh, of all these different phrases towards stop, thief, help, police, all of these things. And yet, in the heat of the moment, I forgot all of them. I panicked and I grabbed her arm and I pulled out her hand and she started to freak out. She started to lose it. She wanted to get out of there. She was caught. She had to get away, but I wasn't letting her go. And I had this death grip on her hand. She was trying to pull away from me like this. She couldn't see her identity. She had this gown on that covered all of her, um, except for really her eyes and, and her hands. So she was pulling away from me, trying to get out. And at this point, still a few people are starting to back up because they can tell something is going on. And she's pulling, she's pulling, and she's kind of screaming at this point to let her go. But um, I'm holding her there, and I, I don't want her to run away with my passport, right? Or my money or things like that. I don't want to be stuck off in Europe without a passport. So I, I grabbed her hand like this. And I, all I can say is, I don't say stop. I don't say please. I don't say thief. I don't say help. I just, all I can remember is no, no. <laughs> so I'm shouting no at her and she's trying to get away. And I've got her hand here like this. And finally, I'm able to pry. I've got her with one wrist like this. And then the other hand, I use my fingers and I, I open her fingers to see if she got any of my things like this. And as soon as I got the hand open, I see that she doesn't have anything. She didn't get anything yet. So as soon as I got like that, I lost that leverage, right? I lost the ability to grip something like this. 
Instead, now it's open like that. So she whoop, pulled her hand out, zip off into the crowd she goes, off like this, and instantly she was gone. I put my hand back down to my pocket, and everything is still there. Okay. So boom, she was gone. I look all around. Some people had seen this. We look kind of like if we see if we can see her anywhere. She was gone in an instant. Thousands of people around. No harm, no foul. Life went on. So she was good. She was really good. I can't believe that she got her hand all the way into my zippered pocket without me even knowing. But that tiniest little tug set me off and I was able to prevent her from, well, just narrowly, I'm stealing my passport and a whole bunch of my money. So lucky that time. Hope you've enjoyed this one. See you next time.